Hi there. Sheriff Gruber McBash here. Yeah, I'm substituting for Sam because I had to arrest him. Drunk and disorderly. Yep. Drunk and disorderly. And, uh, you know, that was something I didn't want to do, but uh, hey, yeah, you're, it's what you call it. So, anyways, we uh, are going to be talking today with Mark, the owner of uh, Over the Hill Rock On, because, uh, yeah, well, he had something to do with it a little bit, and uh, I need to talk to him anyways. So, hey, without any further ado, let me know back there when you got him. We can start this conversation. Well, oh, there he is. Hey, hi. Hi, hi Mark. How are you yeah, doing? Yeah, we're doing great. Thank you so much. I heard all about it. <laughs> Good show there. Doing great. Well, that's good to hear, Mark. Yeah, that's great. Hey, listen, you, I got the, uh, I got Sam in jail for you. <laughs> he wasn't happy. I took a really short video. You want to see it because it's a good laugh. Yeah. Gruber, you got me in there. You, Mark, put you up to this, didn't he? Get me out of here. Great, great. Let him out as soon as you can, but uh. Uh, I appreciate it forever, I'll tell you. Yeah, okay there, Mark. Yeah, I'll make sure he gets out tomorrow morning when I get in there. I'll probably be around 8, 830. So, yeah, I think that's long enough. Teach him a lesson anyways. Telling you a fib and giving you a hard time. Well, he's now living a hard time. <laughs> that's for sure. I appreciate it. And, uh... I, I know I owe you, so uh, we talked earlier. You get some steaks, yep. Hey, uh, Mark, there's just uh, one more request, and I'll be letting you go, because I guess I got to read the news. That's what you wanted. I don't know. I'm not very good with that. But, uh, you know, I, I've always been looking for a bride. You know, none of the women around here, they don't put up with me very well. I guess I'm a little hard on them. So... Yeah, if you uh, know anybody, I appreciate it. Well, hey, I thought you had that all made up. I thought you had that snowbird, and he had talked his daughter into coming down, and I thought that was a done deal. I, I, I don't know. I never followed up what happened. Oh, uh, yeah, you remember that, huh? <laughs> it didn't work out too well. You know, I got that guy, that uh, snowbird off the road, and... I got him good, and I thought, well, here, here I go. He had this good-looking daughter. I think her name was Rachel or something like that. <laughs> well, she got halfway down here, I guess, and she flew the coop before she even got to the coop. She must have sniffed something wrong. Anyways, that's okay. I uh, appreciate your time, and you have a good day. We're going to let you go. So I can get on with my job, and I'll see you later today. <laughs> Thank you, Gruber. Got steaks up here. Yep, got them. Yep. <laughs> well, I hope everybody's doing well on this virus thing. Stay at home. Be safe the best you can. And then uh, remember, you know, we're, we're living in uh, different times. But uh, here's the news, and the best I can tell you. Politicians are politicians. The president is the president. And the news media out of Washington is just simply the gang that can't see straight, shoot straight, or write straight. So there you go. That's the news and nothing more to be said. Well, 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 that's it for me. I want to get out there and get my snakes before they disappear. You know what I mean? I don't trust anybody until I got them in my hand. And so, there you go. Have a good day, and uh, may the virus skip you. <laughs>